how to um, evaluate information sources. And we're going to uh, look closely at the radar framework and we're going to go over some examples as how to apply the radar framework to evaluating information sources. So um, when we start our research um, and we've narrowed down our research topic, uh, often we'll be looking at three primary um, types of information sources, and they are um, books, journal, articles, and website. So what are the questions that we need to ask ourselves when we're looking at these different information sources? Well, we want to ask who, what, when, why, in what context, or does this have relevance? Um, we can try using a mnemonic device to help us better remember how to ask these what questions to ask and um, and this will help us evaluate our information sources so one of um, library researchers uh, strategies is to come up with a uh, framework and these fra uh, this framework um, involves um, adopting a uh, popular acronym and in this case we're going to look at radar and what does radar stand for well it's rationale it's authority date accuracy and relevance and these are just five of the key elements to look for when evaluating information sources so rationale is important because it can help us um, determine if the article or the book is educating, entertaining, or attempting to market uh, a certain product or selling us a certain point of view. With authority, we're looking at um, basically the credibility of the author and if the author has knowledge and expertise in the topic area. Uh, for date, yeah, um, most articles, I would say, uh, depending upon uh, what your professor um, uh, has decided um, and in what subject area, like with the sciences, I would um, have a shorter um, shelf life of, say, five to ten years, whereas for humanities or social sciences, um, the range is much broader and it could go back uh, 20, 20 years or more. Uh, for accuracy, we're looking at um, uh, basically um, validity. We're looking at uh, if the argument uh, has a logical um, line of reasoning and uh, we want to make sure that um, it's consists of truth as opposed to opinion. Um, and finally, relevance. Um, we want to make sure that um, the ideas in the article or website or book help support um, your thesis um, and, it, and it, that it's pertinent information. So here um, we're going, we're looking at in a particular journal article um, and we have our research topic question here on the left. Now um, here's rationale, right? So we have rationale and this uh, matches up with our topic question. Authority, we're looking at this author and this author happens to be a professor in the Department of Health Science at BYU, so that, that's good. The date is uh, 2019, so that's acceptable as well. Uh, accuracy, accuracy, we're uh, looking at um, the information, and this is in the abstract, and we compare it 
to some of the artic articles we've come across, and it seems um, accurate. And relevancy is uh, that that point is met because um, basically it's uh, on topic with lifestyle and impact on uh, mortality rates. So this is one example of how to evaluate an article using radar. And in this case, um, we're going to go over evaluating a website. And same research topic question here, American lifestyle and the impact on our mortality rate. So we're looking at rationale and this may not be the right website um, to match up with our topic question. Uh, it includes um, well, wellness and disease, but personality is questionable. <clears throat> the authority, um, Victor Ketch, uh, sounds like he's uh, educated, but is he educated in, in uh, health and science? Um, and it sounds like he doesn't particularly meet uh, all the criteria or credentials, but um, he is knowledgeable of certain areas. Uh, the date seems acceptable. It's within the five-year range. Is it accurate? Uh, I don't know. I, I find that this, this sounds more like his opinion on a lot of... Um, health-related issues. And finally, relevance. It, this could be relevant uh, to mortality rate, but uh, overall, this is just meeting two of our five criteria. So I'm going to say this, uh, this actually fails in our evaluation. So this is just uh, one, ex one or two examples of how we're using the radar framework to evaluate information sources. If you have any more questions, please contact us at a library at sunnymaritime.edu, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.